down. And now there's going to be a distraction play coming out, right? That's spam, but they're ready for safe to be up close, he waiting to bait them in. He's able to heal up a little bit, and in comes Bonkar now. A shock dart around the corner, not finding any targets. Bonkar seeing that... There's actually no one in this area anymore. And eventually, as that recon reveals no one, he'll start to push forward a lot of the time. But actually, no, he's pulling back. Another very safe play coming out of Guild. <laughs> no pun intended. And footballers will be taking the A side, but running into a little bit of a stack. Yeah, the reason for my surprise is I really thought he would dismiss there. But I, I guess never mind. It's down to Yassine instead. He's got Leo alongside him, and again, they're looking to get off to a solid start. Not really renowned for his jet play as much, but hey, the Sheriff's working out for him, and in the end, the pistol round is fairly clear. This one at least a little bit dicey. Of course, there are the heals available, at least for Draken, so he's going to be back up to 100. Ultimate Orb taken as well, so get a little bit closer to the lockdown. He's going to be one hit now, as well as you've seen to that uh, Marshall, though, so Kiwi mm. has a lot of potential here to do some damage on range. They've got so much info, though. That's why you're already seeing three players over on that side of the map, but it's because of safe getting that little bit more aggressive. A plant, though, is looking fairly likely, although Leo holding onto the cross might make it a little bit more difficult. And actually, Suzuki's got himself two kills already, so this is a successful round, and it's starting to look winnable. Yeah, it definitely is. With the damage already done to Drake, and he's got no shields, as we said. The potential for the one shot to come out of Kiwi, but he just gets absolutely dropped. Sasuke, the last man alive, will be dealt with. But all things considered, good round from football. There's some great potential to do even further damage. The guild, luckily, managed to makes it a little bit harder. I like so as well. information, though. They, they've scanned up at least one or two of the players. They've got the slow to keep them back even further. Now they start to gamble rotations in, and, and Safe does actually have that Guardian, by the way, so he can sit that a little bit further back. And we're getting down to the last 30 seconds, and basically all Guild are doing is just going, left. okay, we're going to try and slow you down as much as humanly possible, and actually, Kiwi's going to whiff that jewel. This is off to an awful start. Yeah, I like the Leer coming out as well for repeat, but they're just going to wall this up and look for the plant. Sasuke with a good kill, and now here comes the plant. Even though Guild were here ready to stop them, they're not able to do much about that. And Maj's flank is good for the first, but now he's spotted behind enemy lines, and they're going to look to take him down. Oh, he's just about dodged Yassine, who's now coming up behind him. Has he slipped under the radar? No! But the shot doesn't connect an opportunity for Maj until safe wall bangs him down. Another rifle retrieved, but all this while, the clock has been ticking. And footballists are waiting patiently, allowing Maj to run the clock, as they'll finally be able to take those duels. But Guild need to be quick and clean. And safe is doing a damn good job to start with the dismiss coming out. It's all on Sasuke. He has them lined up. The time is too low. He'll just run on this clock all the way down and even stopping the defuse. No time left. Ooh. And I'm actually getting out of there. Not going to be possible. The operator lost as well. All in all. We're going to see the drone coming out to try and clear some of those closer positions. And in the meantime, again, we're seeing this aggressive take into middle, just forcing time to be wasted. It means there's no wall available for the retake, but you can also just see how much control Safe currently has. The rest of the team, though, from Footballist, they're going to go barreling into the A site. They know that Yassine doesn't have that ult online. They've spotted him with the Sheriff, so they need to be very careful about not giving him the opportunity to take those kills for free. Good return on the shock darts out of Leo. He's lighting Sasuke up and meaning that the heal has to be used now. So it's not going to be available coming into the early stages of post-plant. And Sasuke's even being tagged on the cross yet again. Bonkar is actually going to go wide swinging in. Yassine does the same and both of them fall footballist getting the heavy man advantage and guild need a hero to step up right here and now draken does well uh, on the flank leo with another <laughs> it's like starting to fall apart pretty quickly safe has just walked up behind sasuke this round was looking to be locked in for footballist and now the defuse is coming down i don't even know if they'll be able to stop this just about but the trade comes in way too fast that's going to be a third round for guild and Oh, I gotta be honest, man. That feels like football. They just took their foot off the gas on that. Use the marshal to start off with. Ooh, not the ideal position to be caught in jumping in the air, but body shots all he needs. It's basically an operator. And then obviously he'll have his blade storm for the next round and a marshal to fall back on. All in all, that's a very good strategy. I love the econ. Yes, a cheer. And well, he'll get away with that kill just about. <laughs> I feel, I feel like he's, every single kill he's taken, he's going, I need a heal. Uh, need a heal, heal. Boost, help. I've, been, I've been body shot a couple of times. It's like, but it's fine. And they win it flawlessly. And yeah, as you said, it's done the attack. Let's look at football as Kiwi. Oh, he's been spotted now. Getting tagged up a little bit. Eight HP remaining. It's an easy kill for safe as he drops back down. You've seen, we talked about the Bladestorm in the previous round, getting it online, playing 
with the Marshal, and this was the round where he was set to use it. Hasn't managed to find a kill off the bat, but Maj is tagged down to 75. Sturman's got on the site. The ult is used up here, and you see, no. he's not. He's not doing this. Surely, he spotted the barrel to his left. I'm not sure he noticed, but he will take Sturman down. The shorty counterplay on the back of the drone. There is a res coming in on the Sturman, and Yassine is trying to hunt him down yet again, closing the distance. Okay. He's literally camping this wall with a shorty guaranteeing they will not plant here and now, but that lockdown should force Guild back. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's actually not going to move him out of the corner. No the dash. thing is, though, he, he can't actually escape from this position. He had to try and make a move, and Sturban will pull him out. So a decent response. The remaining players, though, are coming back in incredibly quickly, and they haven't actually retrieved the spike. The trades, though, going in the favor of the attackers, and safe the only one remaining can't do anything. Incredible recovery from Footballist. Now they only have one ulti coming into this. They had five yeah, in the previous. That, that was a four all round. And already, oh. well, one of the danger men has said he was fantastic the last two times they played. Kiwi's been missing so far today. And the fact that he's losing that opening duel versus Yassine means it's going to be a bit more of a dry push. We know that the res is incredibly far away, but Moj, that's a pretty nice entry. Gives them a little bit of extra space. The head of Bonka has been spotted, but they won't find anything just yet other than the afterplant. Well, that's going to be a little shut down from Leo, and this head's getting tagged up. The 140 headshot, but he'll survive just about. Time taken away, but Gil, they've got plenty to work with here. They've got the man advantages. Just got to be sure to be getting those trades in. Bonker down to 27. Held a lot of guys low right now. That's an opportunity, and Cracks tries to capitalize on it. He'll have to do it all himself, though, and they know exactly where he is. The first and second go his way, but he won't get out of Leo's sights. Five on the board for Guild with this defuse coming through. Hunter's Fury. Here we go. You it's seen. just her in it. She won't let anyone else in. Getting aggressive. The angle helped Kiwi getting onto the board. He as said he's been incredibly... They haven't checked him no. with the drone! What are you doing? No. Oh, God, I know they okay. killed someone up close, but to not even check it with the drone? It's what? okay. What? It's okay. They, uh, they use a res. They Sasuke, you're testing me, man. You're testing me. That is, uh, yeah, definitely a misplay. But That's a big misplay. That's, that's a... That's something you see in gold matchmaking right there, but we'll, we'll forgive it. Oh, he's ate that shock dart on the way back, hasn't he? 50 HP on his fallback. But footballers now have the Hunter's Fury online yeah. for post plant. There's also a flank. Like the, the, yep. This, this should be great impossible to lose, realistically. Now, they have thrown in the Viper's Pit. He's going to try and bait out some of the shots. Oh, it's nice. a nice read from Draken, but he's not going to find himself the kill. And Marge has now dropped basically the only bit of hope for them in this round. It may have taken them a little while. They may have even had a slip up within this round, but the fact is, it's. Lo I was gonna say it looks like they'll come out with five players, but they won't. Even just you thinking it was enough to curse it, Tom. Well done on that. But look, look at this, look how close their ulties are as well. Marsh, Sturman just about to have theirs online. Things are looking decent for footballers in terms of connecting a couple more rounds. I like the swarm grenade onto Bunker. Oh! And very different setup. We've seen Guild have Draken up close. We've seen that double stack in the previous round. Ooh, this like time around, grenade. it's going to be a fake coming out of footballers for the A push. Then they're going to rotate back to Beast, try to split through middle. But Yassine is playing hyper passive on the site. Not an angle he normally holds, and he can support his teammates on. Why is he dashing forward every time? Yassine, press your left or right key, please. He keeps Ooh. hitting the shot still, though. And with the spike dropped, Maj takes his time to Does strike on that mid flank. Left click. But he finally gets caught. And you know what the most important thing is? Bonkar is the one to shut him down. My Ooh. man on the Sage getting his first point of ACS on the board. And at just the right time with Guild now sitting four versus two. And footballist, they haven't even got the spike. They're about to pick it up. But how can they even plant it like this? Yeah, Yasin has got the cross. And well, the remaining players are actually expecting them to go for some sort of rotation back instead. It's going to be easy, but he might actually get away with it. He's not going in with it. This is just so disrespectful. Just trying to go in with the shorts. He's going to have to use one of the shorts. Oh, no! Spires Draken to help him out. The time is gone, and you see it is going to... Tactical pause. Oh, I felt that one. See you later. They've even got Cloudburst down, and he shot him straight through it. Storm as well. Kiwi's having the unluckiest game I've seen out of this guy, but... Oh. Well, that's... That's not ideal. He's dashed to the right, though. You see, not dashing straight at them. Hunter oh. Fury popped. Looking to catch Bonker, but he'll make it away this time. And very close to connecting that shot. The footballers are constantly challenging this operator on range. That seems like it, you know, potentially could be a mistake. 
Well, no, not like that. You've seen shooting them in the ankles, and that's going to give the opening now for footballs to close in the distance on the site. They have lost Sturman, so there's not going to be a Viper's Pit online, and Draken is slowly coming up on the flank. Modge goes back to check in, and it's going to, it might not be ships in the night, actually. Draken is able to take the fight heads up, rotate around to play with his teammates, and to be honest, at this point, you can even just look for the post plant and allow them to, or the retake, sorry, and allow them to take the plant, or you could look for some fights. Oh, that's opening space for safe to get up behind, and he knows it. Don't think Crack's had a clue. I'm sorry, but it, he's not been there. He will, however, shut down Safe. But Safe has been making a, a similar play in the majority of these rounds, so it's not surprising to see him in the tube once again. Well, a little bit of a gap in that wall there for them to walk on through, but they've already shot one open. Look at the sneaky position by Sturban, though. He's already made it past the opening point, and he will catch Draken completely off guard now. The B site open for business. And Football Ulster going for a, a mid-split here, actually. A lot of options in terms of where to plant it. With Kiwi falling, it's not the end of the world. That Viper's Pit to play inside of is really just a goat on this one. And they're aware that Maj what? might be behind Yassine. Catching him with a quick headshot. Opening up that res to come in on safe. And now, they've got the man advantage. And a Bladestorm to counter a Viper's Pit? That's perfect if you can land the right click. Especially with how low Sturban isn't already. It, it didn't matter. He's gone. The right click to the face leaves just two remaining. One of them with a pistol in hand does at least find a connection. But again, the retake comes through from Guild. They're going to get nine rounds onto their defensive side. Fighting for what looks like a lifeline. And well, it's not looking like the most complicated straight out from Guild. A straight rush in towards the B site. A late lurk from Draken likely to come through. And the defenders, they've got a pretty damn good read, but they've already lost their first man. Now with Maj down, the trades are coming in quite quickly. Guild able to maintain that man advantage for now. Look at this, Draken on his way through the tube. An awkward fight, but one that he comes out on top in. Further whittling down the numbers the football has had to play with. A shock dart attempt, and it's not going to yield them anything, really. The flank out of Draken, a constant paranoia in the back of their minds that they have to consider. And... A lot of, oh, hold on, this little push coming down through Tube. It's going to waste a lot of time, and actually Sturman gives up on it. That is heard. And now Draken knows that his flank is good. He's able to step on forward, make his way through the Tube, and his teammates just need to delay. They've got the HP. They've got the time to do this. And to be honest, there is practically no way footballers get away with this one. Or old Sasuke will try to do some damage. But in a pistol round, it's it's not even going to serve for much. I mean, maybe take the shields off Bonker. There you go. Closed out. Bonker's going to die to spike him. A much higher chance. You've got the Bulldog here as well, which definitely not the most popular of weapons, but alongside Draken with that Phantom, it means that there's a lot more danger going into the next round as well. And this one already in the afterplant, well, there'd need to be a miracle for Vukbalis to turn this around. Oh, most definitely. You look at Kiwi maybe to try and get some of these range duels down, but to be honest, even a body tag for him, he's on 59 HP. Gone. It's just going to be an absolute massacre. Leo farming up his fourth kill. He's going for the ace. He wants to send it. 12 HP left. This could be it from the top rope. And there it is. An ace for Leo. 11 rounds for Guild. And it just seems to be no stopping these guys. This has been an embarrassment for footballers with the spam. But that, that's within what? Like 10, 15 seconds? Versus and it's a full, a full retake now. Yeah. That, this is Guild just coming in and, and letting footballers know. We're going to take the space. We're not going to give you any Leo room to breathe. Plant. So he's got Hunter's Fury as well. Oh, little shock dart down. Safe. Going to avoid the second, as you said, Hunter's Fury online. So for Guild, running the clock down is the best way to play this round. That's exactly what they're doing. Big flank coming out of Bonkar. He's only got a pistol to play with, so he's easily shut down by Modge. Wanted to buy a bit more time with that, but that's still just fine. Hunter's Fury activated. One charge, all that's needed. And they're taking down the snake bite, absorbing and making those players vulnerable. The defuse not even found halfway. The wall is giving them some cover, though, and it's going to be taken all the way at the last second. Footballist keep themselves alive. See what Guild can do on this one. Now that they've got rifles in their hands, it feels like it's almost going to be the end, doesn't it? That was a tough wall. <laughs> it was a tough wall. It was absorbing bullets. Safe goes down. A little bit of an aggressive play. Bonkar in there. And so is Yassine. Certain to really dominate in those duels. Bonkar is even getting the plants in. He'll absorb that snake bite. It's no problem to him. He can heal himself up right afterwards. Leo oh, shutting them down so on the pushback good. through. This is just an absolute suffocation of this defensive side. Practically, I and mean, they invested so much into this round as well, but the rebuys they had to make following the previous round. A shutdown of a third kill for Leo. Man's almost got his on car in the early round, so they don't have heals. <laughs> there you go. There, there we go. go. You caught it. Football is coming in with the strats. Let's go. I'll take my check by mail. Don't worry about it. 
first kill is theirs. Damage on the safe as well for Guild. That's going to represent a pretty decent problem. They're watching for the flank, but now they've been spotted. Kiwi still wants to close this in. Bladestorm in hand, and he's catching the kill on the Draken. Good shut down the safe. There's plenty of potential here for this round to go football this way. Still won't count Guild out. You never know. Leo and Yassine left alive. But they're completely sandwiched. This should be a, a clean closeout. I don't know how he's killed him with a classic, but let's move on from that. It's 12 to 5. One round for football. Me. My man's running it down. Look at Yassine. He's just completely ran at this site. Already up close underneath them. About to take a fight right on to Connector, but he's caught. Dealt with. A good catch by Cracks. That gives him the res online and another frag holding down middle. Perfect from Footballist. At this stage, okay, sure, Cracks falls, but they've still got man advantage and a lockdown to play with. Guild decide to change pace, though. They're going to move this back towards the A side for now, at least watching for flanks. But look at that position. If Maj has the patience to sit here for the round, that should secure it. He's got no real reason to make a move. The, the rest of his teammates are sat all the way, just locking down this B site. He should at least get one of these for free. And that's exactly what he will, but he's going to go hunting for the set. Good. Oh, he just about get it. He was just he was making interest. Like, making it a little bit more entertaining. Yeah. He was going to close it. Now, a little bit of caution by him. He shut down the mid play. A hiccup, though. If he falls, if he misses even the second shot, and that mid flank's allowed to come to completion, I then think that they maybe lose that round. We need to see no mistakes coming out of the football aside. And Marge again, good to catch that opening. They'll shut down a second, maybe even three on the board for him. Luckily, he's just, just backing out of there, not looking to roll the dice too much, not looking to risk it all. And they're content with their two-man advantage for now. It's quite funny. We talk about the the like the opposite sides of playing a Killjoy and playing a Rainer, and it's almost like he's gone, I'm going to play the Killjoy, as a Rainer, just as a, <laughs> especially versus pistols, incredibly risky, but he still manages to find all of the shots anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. A little bit of a confidence building round. Now you still have the blade storm online for your scene, but I felt like this would have to be one of the biggest blunders we've seen this tournament for them to lose this. And thankfully, Mod is going to be like, okay, that's, that's you got your one. That is all. Oh, fake planned out of safe. They know he's not planting though. Spotted him firing away. This should be nice and easy. In theory. In theory, 14 HP. <laughs> of course, he can get the heal up if he manages to find a frag. He'll be, oh, he's been spotted, right? Saw a little pre-fire coming through. They're really dragging this one out, aren't they? Oh, they are. Oh, they are. I mean, look, with 10 seconds left, He's got to plant it eventually or force the fight. And although Maj comes around the corner. So you might think, because you've seen it's just hunting. He's trying to take him down all on his own and well, it's not gone great. No, it really hasn't. With that shut down, the res is going to come through from Bonkar. Popped up after they've cleared the space a little bit. But he's going to be deleted. Good trade coming out at least. Keeps Guild in it. 8 HP on Sasuke. Viper's pit activated. Shock Dart's coming in. Not going to find much. Same for the snake bite on Sturban. But he can get a little bit of a spam. He's already passed where that Sage Wall will go aggressively. But because they have the Viper's pit... Oh, he's going to jump on top. I like this a lot, oh, but he's no. revealed. Great recon coming through, catching what could have been a very, very dangerous play before it can even get started. A set, whoop, a third attempt. Uh, fourth Stop attempt. Stop watching him, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rez in, Sturman down, jumping up on top. He tried it five times, and eventually he got caught on his way. Lockdown, trying to push them out of this ultimate, clear that little bit of space. We're still seeing one stick around up close, though. Bonkar wants them to come running through the wall oh, so we no. can catch them. And it's absolutely massive. He'll be detained, but it doesn't matter. They still have players alive to try and make this one happen. And Ki Kiwi is, yeah, okay. Good for a few <laughs> little kills. A little team kill out of Leo. Three it's a 1v1. I, I couldn't explain how that one's gone down, but I will tell you it's 13-7. Gil, with uh, a 